Hello friends, greetings of the day. Welcome to the online session of business and commercial knowledge. In this session, we are learning chapter number five, that is organizations facilitating business. Until now, we were learning non-funding institutions. As you know that there are two types of business facilitators one are non-funding institutions and others are funding institutions until now we have completed all the non-funding institutions now in this session we will learn all those funding institutions which are working in india for the facilitation of business these are the funding institutions ifci ICICI, IDBI, NABARD, SIDB and Exim Bank. These all provide financial support to the business organizations. Now let us learn them one by one. The first one is Industrial Finance Corporation of India, IFCI. The Industrial Finance Corporation of India was established in 1948 under a special act IFCI was established in 1948 the industrial development bank of india that is idbi scheduled banks insurance companies investment trusts and cooperative banks these all are the shareholders of ifci that means the shares issued by ifci are purchased by IDBI, Scheduled Banks, Insurance Companies, Investment Trust and Cooperative Banks. Now IFCI was the corporation that was authorized to issue the bonds and debentures in the open market to borrow foreign currency from the World Bank and other international organizations. IFCI has the authority to issue the bonds and debentures in the open market by issuing such bonds and debentures it can borrow money as well as it can issue the bonds and debentures in the foreign market also besides that it can get loan from the world bank and any such kind of international organization such as IMF or any such international organization FCI is allowed to accept deposits from the public and also borrow from the reserve bank that means ifci can take the deposits common public can uh, deposit their money with ifci besides that ifci can get loan from the reserve bank also with effect from 1st july 1993 FCI has been converted into a public limited company before it it was a corporation now it has become public limited company and its name is now changed as industrial finance corporation of india limited now the word limited is added because it has become the public limited company uh, before 1993 it was only industrial finance corporation of india but now it is industrial finance corporation of india limited so limited word is added in 1993 another such bank is small industries development bank of india that is sidbi popularly known as sidbi sidbi was established under a special act of the parliament in 1990 as a wholly owned subsidiary of IDBI that is Industrial Development Bank of India IDBI was established before and IDBI's subsidiary is SIDB that is Small Industries Development Bank of India is a wholly owned subsidiary of IDBI now IDBI when it was established it had three major functions to perform the first function was to provide credit to large-scale businesses second 
second function was to provide credit to small scale businesses and third to provide credit to the export import units now out of these three functions the responsibility of small scale businesses is assigned to SIDB it means that the function related to credit to small scale industries is given to SIDB and the responsibility of export import units credit to export import unit is assigned to Exim Bank so now IDBI has only one responsibility has only one role related to providing credit to the large scale in industries or large scale businesses small scale industries will be dealt with by SIDB and export import units will be dealt with by Exim Bank now SIDB is now a premier financial institution to promote finance and develop the small scale industries in India now in order to the promotion of uh, small scale industries the ultimate authority or the apex authority lies with SIDB it also coordinates the functioning of other institutions involved in similar activities that means all those public sector or private sector banks that are working for the benefit of small scale industries these kind of banks will be coordinated by SIDB it has taken over the responsibility of administering small industries development fund and a national equity fund from IDBI now these funds were under the hand of IDBI but when IDBI gave these funds to SIDB these two funds a small industries development fund and a national equity fund they were in the hand of IDBI but now with the establishment of SIDB these funds are all allocated to SIDB another such bank is Exim Bank that is Export and Import Bank of India the special purpose of Exim Bank is to provide financial support to those units that are working in the export import segment Exim Bank was set up in 1982 to act as the principal financial institution in the field of international trade of India now as small scale industries sector is having the apex bank called SIDB in the same way the international trade is having the apex bank called Exim Bank so Exim Bank is the apex bank in the international trade for this it took over the operations from international finance wing of IDBI as I said before IDBI had three functions and out of that three one function was related to financing the export import units now that function of IDBI is taken over by Exim Bank so the Exim Bank provides financial assistance to exporters and importers and also coordinates the working of other institutions engaged in financing of exports and imports of goods and services so Exim Bank will try to finance all those units that are working related to export import activities in India it also provides refinancing facilities to the primary lending institutions banks and financial institutions engaged in financing of exports and imports Exim Bank will provide refinancing facility refinancing means when one small bank has given loan to a business unit but that small bank wants financial support in that case Exim Bank will give financial support to that small bank in order to give loan to the businesses such kind of refinance activities are also performed by Exim Bank and the last one is NABARD 
नाबार्ड इज नेशनल बैंक फॉर एग्रीकल्चर एंड रूरल डेवलपमेंट नाउ दिस नाबार्ड इज एपेक्स डेवलपमेंटल बैंक इन इंडिया हेड क्वार्टर एट मुंबई डू रिमेंबर द हेड क्वार्टर ऑफ नाबार्ड इट इज इन मुंबई विथ ऑल ब्रांचेज इन ऑल ओवर इंडिया the bank has been entrusted with the matters concerning policy planning and operations in the field of credit for agriculture and other economic activities in the rural areas in india so nabard is specially designed or established for the rural areas in india nabard will provide credit to the agriculture sector as well as to the rural areas in india nabard is active in developing financial inclusion policy a uh, financial inclusion inclusion word is derived from to include the government of india wants to include every person in the financial benefits and those people who are living in the tribal areas or who are living in the remote areas of india they must also be included in the financial facilities so this is termed as financial inclusion policy and this financial inclusion policy will be executed by nabard because nabard is working in the rural and tribal areas so that's all for now this is the end of the chapter thank you have a nice day goodbye